let's just get right into this. We are going to be ranking every chess variant that I've played for a video, at least pretty much every one. I don't know if I have every single one in here, but I tried. There are a few of my personal creations and then others that I either created using chess.com's variant server or pre-existing chess.com variants. So there's a good mix in here. I'll try not to be biased, although I'm definitely gonna be biased. So let's just get right into it. First, we have hexagonal chess. This is Glinsky's hexagonal chess, as people probably know. So I think this is a... We'll see. I think I want to end up putting this in S, but I don't want to become too crowded. People are saying C. I'll... I'm between S and A. We'll see. I'll give it an A for now. We might we might change it. We'll definitely be rearranging some stuff, but for now it's an A. So it's a bit confusing, but I, I seem to... I've gotten the hang of it in like the testing games that I've played. It's... Yeah, it's very, very well balanced, I would say. It's... It captures like the soul of chess. I know that's terminology that CGP Grey literally used in his, but that's what I get out of it. It's... A, there's a bit of a learning curve, but it captures a lot of what chess has in a completely new way, and I think that's fun. Uh, next, we have checker pawn chess. I don't know if all of you have seen this, but it's basically just chess, but the pawns are replaced with checkers. I don't know how I feel about this one. The pawn or the checkers only being able to promote to a checker king is kind of weak. So it's a yeah, it's a bit weird. The checkers are kind of weak, but it's nice that you can open up the the files for the rooks at will. I put this I'm between C and D tier. It's not that great. I'll put it in a, I'll put it in C for now. But we have some slight variants that I did as well. We had a, have hexagonal fog of war chess. I went through a little era, a quick era where I was playing fog of war everything. I never quite made it to fog of war triangular chess, but I mean it was okay. It was exactly what you expect. So I would give it B, maybe C. It's a low B, I would say. It's it's a cool novelty, but I don't know if it has very much depth. Yeah, definitely lower than regular hexagon or hexagonal chess. Wide chess, uh, as the thumbnail states, this one was horrible, but there are worse ones actually. So I might raise wide chess up. We're getting some good coverage of the entire the, the entire ranking right away. Everybody's saying F. I I mean I guess there can be lower Fs, so that's fair. I was gonna put it in D just because the other ones can be lower, but yeah, it's probably like a, a mid to high F. It's, it's not the worst. Big chess, that is one that was a very big F. No pun intended. A cool, cool thumbnail out of it, but very hectic. And it, it's, yeah, way, way worse than normal chess. Short chess, uh, if we're talking four by eight short chess, definitely Fs. But unfortunately, we're talking about the one that's not a mate in one. So I would give it high B or low B, high C, I think. So the thumbnail is not accurate to the one that I'm grading. I had to add two extra ranks. It was all right. The pawns, I can't remember if I had them able to push two squares or not. Also, is the stream working on Twitch? Yeah, I had to refresh. We're good. Okay. I mean, it's it's just shorter chess. Four by eight chess is definitely F, but this is different. Hello, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'd imagine it could it could be solved, yeah. I know uh, shorter chess frames in general are generally solved. Okay, so this is the first, uh, I think maybe the first, or the first live stream video I uploaded. It was semi-blind chess, or it was just chess with checkers, but I called it semi-blind semi -blind chess. I played this one with Toast. I don't know if you guys, there were a few of you in here that were like, yeah, in the stream at the time. It was, it was all right. It's a good, it's like, I would not say, I wouldn't say it's like halfway between normal chess and blindfolded. It's like maybe 10% of the way there. It's pretty easy to keep track of the pieces. I definitely put this above Fog War Hexagonal. So low A, high B. I give it, I'll, I'll put it in B for now. A by nine chess. I think this is what C tier is basically made for. It's, it's just chess with an extra rank. It's right, it's, it's right in the middle. We have a lot to go through, so I'm probably going to try to go through these kind of quick. How many have we gotten through so far? Eight. So we're about 10% of the way there. I guess it depends on if we find a duplicate or not. I only had 79, 79 images, but there are 80 in here, so I don't know what happened there, but we'll find out. All right, tic-tac-toe chess. This one took hours because it was just a prototype. I was literally sending Discord images to Toggled of the position every time I made a move, and then he would send back the notation for the move. I never quite got this one working inside of Deckmate. I got it working visually, but yeah, kind of complicated. It was, I don't know, people have mixed opinions about how the rules work. People want to be able to like influence other boards and stuff. I'll I'll give it a high C, above above short chess, I would say. Low, either low B or high C, so let's go C. With some rule changes, it could definitely go up but I didn't quite develop the rules far enough, I don't think. Uh, this is Immobile King's Chess. This video did really well. I was surprised by it. It was it changed the game a lot more than you would expect. It was really interesting. I'll put this right below hexagonal. I'll give it a, I'll give it an A for sure. We should play more of this. I played this, I think I made two videos on this. It was very fun. Chataraji, I know where Mig would put this. I, I mean, it was fun. I don't know. It was, I maybe I should give it more of a shot, but I'll go right here, right here, right above 
Fog of War hexagonal. It's not quite an S for me, Mig. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see that toast. People have suggested that. Triangular chess, I love it or hate it. <laughs> Nobody's really in between. I hello Isaac. Yeah, I'm I'm multi-streaming. Chat's more active on YouTube for sure. So people are definitely gonna want to put this in F. I don't think so. I think people are, are giving it too hard of a time. I'll give it a low C. Yeah, people are really confused by it. I need to like maybe make like a full guide on it or something. Yeah, definitely not better than Hex Chess. Yeah, no, you're definitely right about that. It, there's yeah, there's potential there. I'll give it a low C. It needs work. I was gonna make a joke about this and put all of my variants in S but it's really hard to work with a triangular grid. Fix the bishops. So this is something about the bishops that people, people get really get hung up on bishops only being able to stay on one color. That's like a, like a secondary property of the bishops. It's like so core to their identity that it's basically a primary, but like the only thing that the bishops do are move along diagonals. And that just happens to be all in the same color square because of how it's, how a checkerboard works. I don't know, I could make a whole rant on it. I, I'm actually thinking about making a triangular chess short today after stream. Okay, this is chess, but it's all pawns, like kind of like double horde chess. I think people really didn't like how I set this one up. I was trying to go based on the Stockfish eval, but Stockfish doesn't like these positions. It was a full board of pawns, basically. It was a weird, like, like the pawns were already touching in the middle, but there were gaps. It was weird. And there's just one king in the back. I'll put this in D tier. That's a solid D, I think. It was, it was neat, I guess. When the, these were kind of earlier, I think we're going not quite chronologically. There's some weird mixing up, but roughly chronologically. And when I played these, I think, maybe not. I don't know. This is duck chess, just straight up duck chess. People love it. I don't think it's, I think there's room for better variants in this list. So I'll, I'll put this above hex, I think. So I think hex is going to stay in A. So this is going to be the top of A tier. We might nudge this up, but we'll see. For now, it's an A. I haven't played enough duck chess to know for sure how I would rank it. And this is, yeah, this is my personal like experience with the variants, I guess. It's not necessarily just what like general consensus is. So for a lot of people, I'm sure it's S, but I, I don't think I've played it enough. Rookmate, this spun off a whole series. Uh, you'll see more. Bishop mate is right here. Where else? Pawn mate, knight mate. I think we did all of them. There's queen mate somewhere. This one's good. Not great. I'll put it above chess with checkers. Not to be confused with chess versus checkers, of course, which is coming up. This next one is chess but captures are forced. This is the first one we did. Uh, not anti-chess and also not anti-anti-chess, like elimination chess. So chess but captures are forced is basically elimination chess, but the king is royal and you're still trying to checkmate. But if you can capture, then the capture is forced. You might have to see it in action to know the difference because it's very similar to both anti-chess and elimination chess. Solid, I'd say right above tic-tac-toe in C. Come on, there we go. You guys think it's A? I don't know if I would say that. For, you, you liked this one? I think, I, I think, Vivek, Vivek, didn't I play this one against you? I don't know. You guys think it should be higher? I guess maybe Hexagonal Fog of War should get dropped down a bit. I'll drop this down to C, right above... Yeah, I'll put it right here. We're going to be making some adjustments as we go, potentially. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Next we have No Center Chess. Again, a cool novelty. I think this one just belongs in C. I would put it right here, right right below Captures are Forced. No Center is D. I don't know. It was, it was all right. I'm kind of overloading the seed here already. Meg, you're all over the place. You're like disagreeing with everybody. Okay, this one is, the video is called Chess But I Buffed the Knights or something like that. So that was just replacing the Knights with Knight Riders. Very mid, I'll put it high D. It's a little bit worse than mid, I would say. Hello, oh, so Sector. You think it's F? I don't know. It, I mean, it doesn't change that much, which is part of why it's so low. Becoming controversial, oh no. How'd you go from C to A that fast? There's no E tier, unfortunately. The Fs so far are wide chess and big chess. I think they belong there, that's for sure. This is Chess versus Checkers, my variant. I will put this, not to be biased here, I did create it and I'm still working on the rules, but I, well, okay. I'm tempted to put it in S, but I don't know if it quite belongs there, honestly. I'll put it, okay, people are gonna hate me. I'm gonna put it above hexagonal. Probably a biased opinion there, but I think it's it's really neat to play around with how the, the pieces interact. Hello is getting mad. It's above hexa hexagonal because I'm biased. Uh, no, Mathis, no, you you didn't you didn't beat me into hating hexagonal chess. Don't worry about it. Chess versus checkers is kind of my baby, except for yeah, there's it gets better, but we'll continue. This is bishop mate. This is the one where I had checkmate in two, but then I timed out. Uh, I think this one is petrified. Yeah, Medusa is down a bit. So bishop mate, where's rook mate? I put it in B. I'll put this one in. Hold on, wait. I think it was actually better. I'll put it right above rook mate. I had more fun with bishop mate. Cause it's, yeah, yeah, Mathis agrees with me. I might have to shift these down a bit, we'll see. But yeah, the bishop's a lot easier to checkmate. People thought that the bishop would be impossible to checkmate, but it definitely happened in both of our games. Except for, obviously, 
as I said, I had a forced mate, but then I timed out. But that's fine. You think duck chest? Wow, people are getting mad at me for saying duck chest wasn't S, and you're saying it should be B. All right, so this is petrified. So this is when you capture a piece, it turns to stone. Fun novelty. I'll put this right below Chatterajee in in low B, I would say. You think it's S? So oh, one person thinks it's S. Four player deforestation chess. I think this is a solid C. I don't know exactly where I want to put it. I think right above checker pawn chess. People like deforestation chess probably just because of its name. Uh, the four player version, I can't remember exactly how it went, but yeah, it, it's it's neat. I think that's what, that's the C tier. It's like a neat, like, I'll play it once, maybe twice. Nine by nine chess. I think I also played this one against Toast. Yeah, you guys hate forests. Exactly. I need to get the... What even is... It's not like oil that's killing the trees. What industry is... I guess like the logging industry, but whatever. Anyways, nine by nine chess. Definitely C. We're going to be packing this C tier. It's going to be a normal distribution by the end of this. Um, I'd put this here or here. I don't know. I had more fun with short chess for sure. I'll put it right below a four player deforestation. You guys think it's that bad? I think it was okay. Not you think it's higher than no center? I don't know. I kind of like no center in like a high C kind of way. Oh, wait, do I have two chess with the pawns or kings? Yep, you found it. Excel, I think is the first one to find it unless I missed it. We found the double thumbnail. We'll just have to leave that in the bottom. All right, king safety or king unsafety as people th thought they were funny to say. Pretty good. Can't remember. Okay, no, I'm, I'm getting the vibe now. I'm remembering. It was all right. I'll put it right below no center. Hi, C. It was all right. So all the king, it's four player chess basically, but all the kings start in the center. And if they get checked nine times, the game's over. It was, it was all right. Yeah. I mean, just because like everybody was in the middle, it made it really interesting. Like trying to, you could gang up on somebody right away, or you could like just try to move your king back. I wish I'd have prepared like little clips or at least the starting, the starting position of these games. But again, we have a 79 to get through. That would have been a lot. Uh, this is Sarawan chess. Yeah. Randomizer should be in here somewhere. Hopefully there it is. Sarah one chess. I know people like this. You think it's boring? Okay. Well, it's not super flashy, I guess, but it was all right. I think it was pretty good. I think it was, I think it was above mid. I'll give it, yeah. No, I'd say, honestly, I'm going to put it right here. Mid, middle of B. I think it's better than chess with checkers. So this is one where you get to, the first time you move one of your back rank pieces, you get to place a hawker elephant, which is a chancellor or a general, I think. Or no, archbishop. Archbishop or chancellor, I think. I kind of liked it. Uh, this one is uh, the, the, Thumbnail is from a two player, but this is four player petrified, where we discovered the the glitch when you capture on passant in petrified, where the the stone piece just kind of stays there but doesn't exist. People think it's S, definitely not. I'll put it right here with four player deforestation. Probably a little bit above. We'll go there. The video low or high A low S, maybe, but the actual variant was just fine. We don't talk about that thumbnail, green dude. <laughs> Alright, double duck chess. Yeah, double duck chess make it triple d put it in the d tier it didn't work very well because there were this could even be a high f but i'll put it low d so the fact that you couldn't strategically place the duck so that your opponent couldn't have a duck there next move definitely makes it worse because you could just move the other duck so yeah i'll put this in a low d interesting concept it doesn't really work okay this is chess but the pawns are kings i think this again was a nice novelty i'm making a i'm now realizing that a lot of my a lot of variants that i played in my videos are kind of mid I'll put this in the C tier for sure. Probably right, right in here somewhere. I'll put it right above no center. I'll give it a high C. Green, do you like that one apparently? Okay, so I think this is this will come as no surprise. This one has basically, this is responsible for like at least 70% of my views on all the platforms and most of my followers and everything. You wouldn't give, you wouldn't give circular an S? Wow. Well, I do. Definitely a little biased. We'll get to the original circular chess eventually. But yeah, I'll give this a slightly biased s for those of you who haven't tried it out there is a competitive circular chess ring uh, no pun intended there i guess and we are looking for more people to compete lolo is uh, i think the high yeah highest rated player in circular chess and maddie who you see drop by from time to time towards the end of the stream because it's currently like 4 a.m for him so you won't see him till later he is the circular chess champion for this year uh yeah yeah we're gonna get to the original circular chess in a bit okay this one is four player atomic chess i'm trying to think I, it's kind of okay with, without the adjustments that we made adding the dead pieces it turned into a two-player atomic chess on a big board really quick definitely below four or two-player atomic once we get to that but okay i don't know i'll put it right here below four-player deforestation by a little bit it, was, it got a bit too hectic it was like way way easier to team up on one person and i don't know it got weird we experiment on this channel a lot and this was one of the ones that we did not revisit Okay, this one is Ambush Chess. I think the most, or no, 
not the most recent, the second most recent video we did. This one was surprisingly fun. It's the first Fog of War variant that I played on stream. I think or I'm going to be judging this as a variant and not as a stream variant. I also haven't played regular Fog of War on stream. I think I've actually only played it a few times ever. A for Ambush. You make a fair point. It was surprisingly fun. Like the, the placement mechanics makes for like a, like a weird like rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. I'll give this a high B, right above Bishop, mate. I don't think I quite want to give it an A, although it is A for Ambush. I'll give it a high B. Long chess, bottom of F tier. This one did not work well. It was made to be a meme. It was a fun experiment, but as a variant, it, there were no rule changes and that was intentional. Yeah, it was supposed to be a meme. Yeah, Mathis says G tier, it should be G tier. But as a video, it was S tier, I think, or that's an A tier. But for those of you who haven't seen it, long chess is literally the exact same rules. You promote at the end of the board, your pawns only get to move two squares on their first move, but the board is just twice as long. So it is painful. This is isometric chess. It's a bit complicated. So I could give this a biased S, but instead, I think it's a bad look to have all the ones that I make in S. You know what? I'll keep it in S. Who cares? We're biased around here. I'm between low S, high A. But we'll go with that low S. I'm actively working on, I'm almost done with a, with a demo for Isometric Chess that'll be live on the store. I don't think I've announced that yet. Actually, no, I definitely have, but it's coming soon. The full game will be out by the end of the year. A quick self-promotion. Now we're on 7x7. Seven seven. This one was a lot better than I thought it would be. We used the, I think it's called Dragonfly Chess setup, but we didn't use the Dragonfly rules. There were some weird like bug house rules in it, but it was just 7x7. Seven seven. I'll give this one a mid B. I'll honestly put this... Right below Saruman Chess, I would say. I hadn't heard of Dragonfly until I looked it up either. It's just like a 7x7 chess variant. This So this video included 4x5, 5x5, and 6x6. So we're going to kind of combine them all into one and just say mini chess in general. This 4x4 doesn't work because it's forced mate for white. And I think they increasingly get more fair as it goes along. I think mini chess is underrated for sure. It's surprisingly fun. The games are quick, very cramped. And especially with the smaller ones, you can, if you can develop a strategy, you can probably win more often than not. So I'll give this a low B. I'll put this right below Chatteraji. S for smaller. Yeah, exactly. How about this next one? S for saw. I think this is, yeah, this is the original chess, but I saw the board in half. It's just Demi chess. I didn't invent this one, but I put the little, uh, what's it? Shoot. What's his name? Phil Swift, a flare on it. I, excuse me. This is definitely worse than mini chess. I'll give this one a C. D for Demi, yeah, we gotta be on theme with this. Now I'll, where do I want to put this? Probably like right toward like middle high end of C. Let's put it right here for now, right above uh, Tic-Tac-Toe Chess. Oh yeah, you did suggest pay to win Chess, Jaden. We have not done that yet. Okay, so this is Circular Chess 1.0. So this one had a lot of problems. It's not quite, no, I'm not putting the original Circular Chess in the S tier. We already have the current rule set. So this was, there's only one missing rank, or one, yeah, one missing section four squares long, and it was only one rank long. So the bishops could attack the rooks right away. And not only that, the board was massive, and pawns could promote into queens. And there's no, like, there was absolutely nothing stopping that from happening. Like, no knights in the center or anything. Uh, the two are missing so that the bishops can't attack the rooks right away. So I'm going to put this one in right here, I would say. <laughs> right below double duck. I'll put this, this will probably stay in the bottom, the absolute last spot indeed here. It's still somewhat playable. It's better than long and wide chess. Yeah, Toggle was there at the time. He got to try it on day one. It Yeah, D for don't, exactly, Toast. We did it censor Twitch 2T Gallery? There's no way. Yes, Vivek. Although it wasn't exactly perfectly functional at the time. Okay, so this is, in my notes, I wrote this one down as Omnisant. So this is chess, but every single piece can on. I played this one against Toast as well. Toast is featured in a decent number of these. It was, it was fun. I would say not great in practice. People are saying S just because it's on passant. I, I get it. I get it. But the fact is that pawns are just dominating the ranks because I, if a rook or a queen crossed over their path, it was over. So I'll put this towards the bottom of the playable ones, I would say. So let's go low C. This seems fine. I'll put it right above checker pawn chess. We might have to demote some of these C's into D's because, yeah, the, the C tier is just massive. Double move chess. I think we have our first S tier outside of deckmate. I'll put this one right between these two. Move chess is a whole lot of fun. We're actually going to be playing that today after the tier list. I have a thumbnail ready for it. I'm going to see if anybody can actually beat me. I don't think I've lost a game of double move chess on stream. I can't remember if I have, but I don't think. So yeah. Yeah, fine. Let's let's do some maintenance here. Some pruning. Let's put a triangular chess 
And I don't know if I want to put hexagonal fog of war in D. It was it was fine. I'll I'll upgrade this one. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, Trespass captures the forest. We'll put that low B. And yeah, why not? Trespass pawns are kings. We'll put that low B as well. Now this is more even. I think tic tac toe should be D. I'm not gonna no. Nah, I'm not gonna change the order unless I decide on it. This next one is Kung Fu Chess, or Chess, but there are no turns. This one was really fun. We didn't revisit this one, but people seem to like this one. It's a bit strange in practice, so it's not like a top tier. I'll give this one a low B. I think this one's better than no center chess. I'll put it at the bottom of B for now. It, it is pretty fun. This is setup chess. Honestly, I mean, with the rules we used, or no, I think we just did basic setup chess. It's fine. We might be adding to the massive B tier, or I meant C tier, but we might be <laughs> adding it to B tier and making it, making it tied with C tier and count. I'm torn. I think it definitely belongs here or here. So in the in terms of where I like rank it in order, I think I've, I know where I want to put it, but I don't know. I'll give it high C. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I did all nights for one of my games too. Or not all nights, but mostly nights. This one's Nightmate. This was a really fun one. People, again, with all of these, people think it's going to be like impossible to checkmate. But with the next one that we're going to get to, people were not thinking that. But Nightmate, really good. Where is, okay, so Bishop Mate is high B. I'll put this one low A. Actually, no, I'll put it above, okay, right below hexagonal. I'll put it right here. So right above Immobile Kings. This is definitely the best alternative king variant that we played. And then this one might be the worst, Pawn Mate, where all you have to do is put a Rook in front of a Pawn and it's just checkmated. Oh, Knights Against Bishops? I don't, oh no, I didn't make a video on it. So no. This one, I'll give this one, no, I'll, I'll be nice to my own variant. I'll put it right below a Triangular Chess. It was, so it's not full-blown F because there's still strategy to, strategy to it, but yeah, your king is just a bit too fragile for my liking. This one is, I believe, yeah, this one is queen-sided demi-chess, so we just made the queens royal. This was a good experiment. We did, we found out that it's really hard to checkmate the queen, but not impossible. We eventually added like five check or something, I can't remember. We added a certain number of checks that would end the game. I don't know. It was fine. I'll put this above triangular. Let's let's add to the D tier. I was between the end of C and top of D. So I'll put it in the, the top of D. This one, circular fog of war chess. But where is hexagonal? I'll put this right above hexagonal fog of war. Again, another neat thing to try. The, the bigger board makes it more like a horror game in a way. It's kind of funny. Definitely not S tier, MIG. Claustrophobic chess. You guys might not have seen this one. Uh, 3 by 12. This one was another another meme along with long chess. I I'll put it in F tier, but right above right above wide chess. It was playable, but barely. It was on the verge of unplayable. Yeah, really. It was it was horrible, but it was intentionally horrible. Looks sus. What do you mean it looks sus? Chess randomizer. If anybody has played that, I think I agree with Mathis here. It's another one of my variants, so I could put it in S, but I'll give it a high A. I'll put it honestly right. Uh, I'm torn. I think right above chess versus checkers. Toast likes it. I don't. I'll put it above deck. I, I just in my personal experience, I'll put it above deck chess. It's probably right below it, but I haven't played deck chess enough. It's not just random chess, Marco. I'm not sure if you've seen the rules, but it's a random board size and a random back rank, but beyond chess 960 randomization. It's yeah, it's quite literally chaotic chess 960. It takes random a bit more seriously. Yeah, chess 20m. I should. I forgot to do. I have a spreadsheet somewhere where I actually did the math. I think. I think more than half of the that 10 million is in the 10 by 10 board alone or the the 10 wide not just 10 by 10 yeah thanks Jaden. yeah we did hit 50k all right this one is chess attack five by six chess the chess variant that i'm assuming magnus carlson got paid to promote he was at the picture that i showed at the beginning of the video he was at like a like a event or something promoting it i it's okay i'd say it's the best mini chess variant so i'll put this one right above my mini chess so a mid b this, I believe this is just standard four player chess. Definitely a really good one. <laughs> Tosa saying S. I don't know if it belongs. Do you guys think it belongs in S? I, I'll put it above randomizer. Okay, let's put it. So as of now, let's put it at the bottom of S. I still think isometric is better. So I'll give, yeah, we'll give this one a low S. So we have our fourth S in the first one that I did not think of. Although double move chess is also not an original idea. You think four player is B tier, Vivek? This one is Invincible Pawns. I think another one that I played with Toast. This one... It was going to be a draw. Actually, no, it wasn't even. I remember the comments saying that I actually had a forced win, but I couldn't find it. But then Toast, yeah, you you blundered in the, on the last, like you blundered the position, even though I had a win apparently. But this one, it was really cool to see the pawn so strong. <laughs> Toast thinks it's F because he lost. I'm trying to think of where it stacks up. I'll put it right above, right above Omnisant here. It was fun. Actually, hold on. 
No, I'll put it above these four player modes. Right below short chess. That seems like a good spot for it. Mid C. Bug house. Another classic. It's fun. It's good. It's bug house. I'm thinking low to mid B. Toast refuses to hide his bias. I'll put this one right below mini chess, honestly. So right here in B. Better than petrified. B for bug house. Yep. I wasn't even thinking about that. Toast thinks it's delay. This one is mini house. I think another. Did I play this against you, Toast? I might not have. I can't remember. But yeah, two player mini house. You did. Okay. This is a good one. This one surprised me. I wasn't expecting this one to be as good as I was. It's not S tier, Jaden. I know you said your friend came up with it or something. I'll put this one below hexagonal. Here, let's. I'll upgrade hexagonal for you guys. I still think it's not as good as. I don't. I don't like it as much as I like the randomizer. So I'll give it a high A. Bring hexagonal up a little bit. Then mini house. I'll put this right above nightmate. Surprisingly fun. Yes, A for mini house toast or A. Oh, I see what you're saying. A for A mini house. Yeah. There you go. Wait, hold on. Oh, this is queen mate. Okay, so this is basically the same as a uh, queen-sided demi chess, except it's a full board where the king was not royal. I'll put this one. Where did I put queen mate? Oh, I have to find it. Where's the Where's the other saw? Here you are, top of D. I'll put this one. I'll keep this one top of D. I'll put it right above the demi chess. Queen can escape. Wait, how? Florian wants someone to donate to get hexagonal chess in S. I don't know if I can be bribed. Deforestation chess. People think it's S. I don't know. People really. Again, we're. Not going off of memes, otherwise on passant chess would have been S tier, but frankly it's not. <laughs> I think this one's better, more functional than on I'll put this one bottom of B, I think. I was gonna put it top of bottom of B. I think it's better than setup chess, in my opinion, but it doesn't change that much. It's not an S, in my opinion. <laughs> Wait, the thumbnail position's impossible? You make a good point, Toast. Yeah. That is the case with multiple. Good thing Helena's not here because we have chess flip coming up soon. We have split brain chess. So this was demi chess kind of, well, so it just cut the board in half and then swap the black king and queen. So both players have a attacking and defending half. The problem with this was that the black player could just mimic white always, I think, except for maybe in check. It depends on the rules, but yeah, I mean, this is just like a hard draw if black wants it to be, I think. Wait, Helena's here. Did I summon Helena? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Split brain chess. I uh, shall see it in the video. The ritual. Yeah. Split brain chess is, I think, let's see. I'll put it right here, right below on Passant chess, below or above checker pawn chess. Cause it's, it gets more interesting if you don't go for that draw. So it's playable to an extent. Now we have Helena's favorite variant that she made chess flip. It's basically, there are two separate boards. One has a bunch of super strong pieces. The other one has weak pieces and the players can choose to flip instead of playing their turn which swaps the boards. I think there are, is a lot that can, like it turns, as soon as the player is winning on one board, they can just use the flips to their advantage and win. So I'll, I'll give this one a mid C. I'll be nice about it that way. It, it's a good idea. F for flip. Okay. Yeah. I could have done that as a meme. I'll put it above tic-tac-toe. That's fine. Four player demi chess. Another one, this was, I think in the daily upload era, there were a few of these that the ideas were just kind of slapping other ideas together. I did daily uploads for like a month on my like long form videos and we got some, a little bit of slop in that period. And I think this is one of them. I think this one, yeah, this, I think this one deserves a D for Demi, but it was, it was fine. I'll put it in the top of D. C for chess. Yeah. That all of them are C. Just start moving them. This one is straight up atomic chess. I think I, I played this one against Toast. I don't know if it was the first game of the video or not, but apparently he was like, what, 1700 in atomic chess. This is a good one. I think this deserves, I think I know what Toast is going to say, waiting for it. No, never mind. He says it's S. I was going to wait for A for Atomic. I'll put this at the top of A. It's, I don't know if it's quite S, in my opinion. I'll give it A for Atomic, and it's not just because of that. Definitely a good one. Another one of Helena's variants, chess but, the, chess, but the board shrinks every 10 moves, also known as Fortnite chess. So I think we have to give this one F for Fortnite. No, I'll, it was all right. So you had to like sacrifice some of your pieces, and it eventually just... The game, it felt kind of anticlimactic. We only played one game of it, I think. So there's probably more strategy involved with how you set up your pieces, which ones you sacrifice for the very end, because there's not a whole lot of game to be played until the board is like only like four by four. So I'll give this one top of D tier, right above four player demi chess. This one, chess with the pawn, or chess with the pieces can always, or wow, I can't talk. Chess, but the pieces can only move forward. They can never move backwards. But I played this one against Toast as well, and we had a bit of a rule dispute at the end, which I think he was right about. So I thought that you could check pieces using like the potential to move backwards, as long as you didn't actually move backwards. But I mean, I guess like it only works if you do that, but technically it really shouldn't be, because if you can't move backwards, then you shouldn't be able to check backwards. So this is kind of just like a doomed variant, I think. 
It must be something where you could like teleport back to the other side if you like you can warp from your back rank to your first rank. Yeah, I'll give it an F for forward. I I'm I think I'm giving circular chest a bit too much credit here, but yeah, we'll keep it there. This is deforestation chest 2.0. This one's definitely worse than the original, but it was a cooler idea where you get rewarded for chopping down trees. But the point system is hard to figure out. So I think this one belongs honestly still above old circular chess. So towards the, the bottom of D. D for D, yeah, D for deforestation. I'm doing this on accident, I swear. Labyrinth chess. This video did a lot better than I expected it to. People like this one. This is not an S tier. Definitely not MIG. I'll, let me think. It was all right. Kind of got, it was like very cramped and I, I lost. So that kind of doesn't help. I'll give it a decent C, right below King Safety. S for snakes. How, what does that have to do with a labyrinth? Or I guess maybe it's some kind of in mythology. B for labyrinth. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of scrolling. Hope that's not too distracting. This is Racing Kings. The video is called Chess Racing. I think I liked this one. It gave, me, it gave me a good first impression. People don't like this one. I don't know. It it impressed me. It almost impressed me as much as Mini House with how, like, like surprisingly strategic it was. I'll put it in B tier. I'm just deciding where. I think let's go right below Bug House. You think it's bad, Mig? Okay. Without your hate towards it, maybe? So you think it's an F? I don't know. I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, so this is mind control chess. You could basically choose to move your opponent's pieces instead of your own. Did I play this against Toast? I think I might have, but we, we couldn't figure out how to get the rules to work. It was getting super complicated. This one, another good idea, bad, like, or good concept, bad execution kind of thing. I'll put this one right above Double Duck here in D. Wait, there you go, right there. Still, I don't know. It was a cool concept. I might be giving it too much credit for that. I could give it a C for control. Yeah, my, my chat knows their alphabet. I'm proud of them. Yeah, that's true, Toast. I had to play it in the classroom, which means it's not playable. Four player King of the Hill. This is all of the ones that we, or, yeah, did we play three in that video? So this includes War for the Throne. I forgot what the other ones were called. They had weird names. I'm forgetting. But just basically, I guess the concept of four-player King of the Hill in general. But no, we played mini War for the Throne later. Actually, this might be that thumbnail. No, I think that was different. Yes, we're <laughs> seeing the ABCs, except we we missed a letter. We're we're going back to kindergarten. Yeah, War for Throne with no the weird. Where do I want to put this? It was it was decently fun. I'll put this right above King Safety in C tier. A lot of C's. I still like it. I still like Note Center Chess better. I I'll stand by that. Medusa Chess. This one took a lot of explaining to do. And this is like, this had the highest failure rate. Like we had to do the most take backs when the person I was playing against didn't know the rules. I think Vivek and Helena both. And actually, wait, maybe Green Dude? I'm trying to think. A, lo a lot of people just didn't know what was going on with this one. It was basically petrified, but your piece stays on the board when you capture. It was, yeah, it was a mess. I wanted to do that in concept, but it didn't work. So let's put this... Honestly, above mind control, I think mind control, or yeah, wait, what was it? No, mind control goes above it. Mind control has more potential than Medusa Jazz, I think. Yeah, mid D, I mean, mid to low D, I guess. That's fair. You got me, Florian. I was trying to, I read it with one, with the one the, and then I had to go back and like, wait, he put a second one in there, didn't he? All right, four player mini house. This one was really fun. We did this later with chatter rules. I think that's this one. So we'll go back to that one later. This setup used like a weird like diagonal sort of setup. I played this one. I think Toast was involved in this one as well. Or maybe, I can't remember if it was one, the other, or both. I think this one, where did I put Mini House? In B, or in A. So I think this one belongs in, this one belongs in high B, I think. I'll put it above Ambush. It was pretty good. This was four player takeover. I can't remember if Helena did other rules for it, but there is a lot going on there with like crazy house and takeover rules. This one was kind of complicated. Oh, sorry, Jaden. Well, your friend didn't make four player mini house. Maybe he did. Okay, so this is, yeah, four player takeover. So if you capture, or if you checkmate the opponent, all their pieces become yours, except for the pawns, I think. And there's also crazy house involved. Very weird set of rules. Let's put it in the top of D, right above sh the shrinking board. Sideways pawns, very cl or very simple. I think its simplicity helps it out. There's a lot of weird, like, opening up files, and you can attack in weird directions. But the only difference was that your pawns could move sideways. So let's put this at the bottom of B, I guess? Not the absolute bottom. I'd say it's... I'm comfortable putting it right here between Kung Fu and Deforestation. That seems all right. I'm not giving it an S for sideways. Sorry, I've been talking nonstop. I don't normally talk this much during the streams. I can ac actually feel my voice giving out a little bit. All right, this is freeze chess. So it's sort of kind of like duck chess, except you can freeze one of your opponent's pieces after your move, but you can't freeze the same, point, it's the same piece two moves in a row. It was surprisingly fun. F for freeze? No, I think this one belongs probably mid B, honestly. I kind of left my fridge plugged in. Makes noise that annoys me when I'm editing. 
if it picks up on the mic. All right, freeze chess. I'm comfortable putting it right here, I'd say, right above Sarawan chess. B tier is growing as well. We have a lot of variants that we covered on this channel. B for Burr, exactly. Yeah, that's better than F for Frozen. Okay, next is Manhunt 3v1 chess. We didn't quite get this one working right. People underestimated how much of an advantage it was for the three players to be able to move in sequence. They would get three moves basically for every one that the one person got. I think it has potential, but in the state that we had it in for the video, I'll put this one in high D. Didn't quite work. I'm not going to give into the S mob on this one. Okay, four player Chatterajee. So, or no, Crazy House plus Chatterajee, rather. Uh, basically four player mini house, but with the Chatterajee setup. I think this one went a little bit better than four player mini house, I think. I can't remember exactly which one I prefer, but I'll put it right next to four player mini house because they're basically the same. Okay, this one, four player anti chess. There's a lot of strategy involved with this one. I know, I can't remember if I, I don't know if I managed to win one of the games or not. But I think, was this a predetermined variant? I think this was like X-File or something. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering. This was definitely during the daily upload era. I'll give this one a low B. I'll put this one right below sideways pawns, I think. A for anti 4P. Yeah, the 4 kind of looks like an A in Leet speak. Four player no center chess. This was the absolute epitome of the daily upload era. This one was all right. The promotions had to happen before it was like on like the sixth rank or something stupid. I mean, it wasn't like offensively bad. I'll put it right here above King Safety, below four player King of the Hill. This one's Elimination Chess. So I don't think we actually ever played normal anti chess on stream, but this is not to be confused with wherever it is. Chess book captures are forced right here in the middle of B. So in this one, there's still a king that you have to checkmate, but in this one, the king is not royal and you just lose when you have one piece left. So I think this one belongs above chess book captures are forced. Wait, did I? I can't remember where it was. I think it was right here. Shoot. Oh, well. Anyways. Oh, hey, Elena. <laughs> She's here. I think, yeah. So I think this one belongs above chess book captures of force. I'm not sure how much higher. I'll put it right above freeze chess, I think. Yeah. So right below rookmate. I like these alternative king modes a lot. Wait, hold on. Are you saying in elimination chess, green dude? It's also, so if you stalemate, if you're, if you are in stalemate, then you win. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, this is the, the variance gauntlet which is representing bouncy chess because it does not deserve its own video. It's an F, bottom of F. Of course, I could give the the video. Okay, fine. The video gets B for Bs. You're right about that. But bouncy chess specifically is every piece can also move like a knight. So the king was replaced with, I think, the general and queen was the Amazon, etc. And then the knight was a knight rider. I'm giving it a hard time. So we're going to move it up a, a bit. It's a bit hard to understand it. It completely like removes the like special movement of the knight. So I'll give this, I'll put this above tic-tac-toe -tac chess, honestly, right below chess flip. You think it's like D? I guess I, hold on. No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll keep it where it is. All right, spell chess, S for spells. I know people really like this one. I think honestly, like the, the whole counter freezing stuff kind of takes away from, like, I don't think it's quite S because of that. So I'll put it, honestly, in my opinion, right below Atomic. It's a solid A. I think, like, I, like counter freezing just kind of seems like it breaks the concept a little bit for me. So I'll, I'll give it a, a decent A. All right, four player spell chess. This was the most recent video. This one did not go well. Just the fact that by default and actually the lowest length you can have it set to, like, the player that places the freeze always gets to move immediately after the freeze is up. So if you freeze your own piece, in ch in check with the king after your player after your opponent places a freeze so if they're on cooldown or actually wait hold on it's weird but you can guarantee a win in a lot of scenarios so i'll give this one honestly i'll keep it in d tier i'll say it's worse than og circular chess also yeah thanks helena yeah bottom of d i'll say all right this is hide and seek chess. this is actually the last one because this one's a duplicate thanks excelly for pointing that out this is hide and seek chess so it's basically just placement chess plus fog of war except you place your pieces at the beginning or yeah you have to place all your pieces at the beginning and you can see everything as you go so you, you're trying to figure out as much about your opponent's position as possible i realize that this is I, I haven't tested it yet but i think this is playable on the chess.com variant server with like as long as you like trust your opponent to play by the rules because i know if you just do set up plus fog of war you set up your pieces and you can't see the you won't be able to see the actual fog of war squares as you're placing which kind of sucks but this is yeah this is in deckmate for a short while a few months probably I think it's it's it has some promise for sure. I really liked it at the time. We can try to play that on chess.com's variant server. So yeah, so this is the last one. Where do I want to place it? 
I'll put this one, I think right here, honestly, yeah, right, right below Rookmate, because I really liked these, again, I, as I said before, I really like these alternative kings. So I th I'll put this in like a, a mid to high B, and that will do it, because again, we have this duplicate, chess, but the pawns are kings, two in a row. <laughs> Oop, put it back. How do I, how do I get rid of it? I can't get rid of it. Oh no, whatever, it's fine. I'll, put the, I'll just put these next to each other. They're the exact same. So this is what we have. We have in our S tier, we have the best chess variant that I decided was my own. I think those of you in the Discord server that play circular chess might agree, but I don't know about people outside of that. Give it a try. Not, not a promotion. That was not planned. But yeah, competitive circular chess, going strong. Double move chess. This one's been a fan favorite. The videos have been popping off. We're going to be playing more of that today. Absolutely love double move chess. There's a lot of depth to it, surprisingly. People seem to think that you can just like force a win. I don't think that's the case. Then isometric chess, another self promo. Demo coming soon, game coming this year. See, this is a bad look. I'm just talking about all the S tiers and I'm shouting out my own games. Then of course, four player, you know it, you love it. Four player chess. And I'm not gonna go through all of the variants, but of course, atomic spell chess, randomizer, hexagonal, top four in the A tier, all very good. Could have easily been S tier. People would argue about duck chess, maybe, maybe. But that is the tier list.